Let us see what, in my view, is the most important feature of risk manager, the policy monitor. So we're going to click here on policy monitor. We're going to look at some of these uh, uh, policies. So let's scroll down in here and look at this one, risk. Assets with high risk vulnerabilities exploitable for the internet. Hmm. If we actually actually fully click on it, and we see that this vulnerability first takes everybody who has spoken to the outside, you know, communication with the internet, okay, that's a big group, it then gets reduced by the asset that has been talking to the internet, or communicating with the internet, has a vulnerability which score is greater than five. CVSS is the, that you know, the, uh, the, the, the scale from, uh, from uh, 0 to uh, 10 that comes uh, for the vulnerabilities. But this is the key part. And include only if susceptible to vulnerabilities are exploitable, meaning if there is there's a path to it and there's no any IPS or any other device with rules that are blocking that particular vulnerability. And you can evaluate these policies on both possible communication or actual communication. So actual means that, you know, that there is, we, we've seen actual uh, traffic going on, and possible means, well, we haven't seen any flows that tells us that that, that, it, that that has happened, but there is a path that is enabled for that to actually happen. We can actually either say the question, or we haven't changed anything, so we can actually close it like here, right here and actually submit this question. And basically, what Curator is going to do is going to look into all the connections that came out of the flows, and it's going to see which of any one of those actually map that actual uh, criteria. So, And here it is. So we have two IPs that actually have vulnerabilities that are exploitable from the internet. So that gives you a criteria, I mean, and from vulnerability manager leverage on this. Uh, so you can uh, get the, the, the same result from uh, QVM itself. So that's the first, our first example for a policy. Risk manager is, of course, as the name implies, uh, all about uh, helping you assess risk. So if, for example, if we go to the asset database, and we actually, uh, list uh, all the all the uh, individual assets we can actually let me actually go back to the asset uh, to all the assets we can actually score them by uh, risk score let's talk a little bit about what uh, this uh, risk score uh, is all about before I've actually shown the risk score let, let's click on any one of these assets and see what do we see in here. So, well, first of all, this uh, notice this aggregate CVSS score. This is just the addition of all the vulnerabilities, all the CVSSs of all the vulnerabilities that uh, this asset has. As, as you can see, uh, this uh, asset is in a lot of trouble. But uh, to look at the uh, risk score, back to the risk tab, and here we are still on the policy monitor. And if we uh, Look here under uh, risk. Risk. Uh, let me look at one here. The one I'm looking for is not, I don't see it here, but I can click on this one for anyone, uh, for example. And uh, as we saw before, you, you evaluated on possible communication or actual communication, in, uh, and uh, you can see that the type of questions really depends on the actual uh, uh, type of uh, data that you want to return. For example, when you are want to return device or rule, these are the type of questions. These are, you know, uh, things that are related to actual uh, uh, the connections. 
if you switch in here into assets, you see that the questions are, you know, questions regarding the asset having had uh, communication and, you know, the, the questions actually varies. And this one, when asset, you actually can switch between actual and possible. But if you go back to the uh, devices of rule, then the only option that you have is on possible communication, not on, not on actual. So we're not going to change these questions, so let's close in here. And let me look for the actual uh, policy that I was uh, looking for. And here on the question groups, we should have configuration policies, for example, risk asset devices that are allowed uh, protocol ban from the internet and you know it's the same mechanism as before you can change the, the data that you return and who you are uh, evaluating and this is uh, allowing communication on, on destination port and the port is uh, 1214 with any one of these protocols the, com the, the combinations are really uh, endless closing this one actually exited from the risk. Well, the, to talk about the risk score, which I almost uh, completely forgot about it, I'm clicking here and, and on any policy, you can actually click on the monitor piece. And in here, notice that the uh, default time for evaluating a policy is one hour. You can actually change that and have it uh, being evaluated more frequently. Here's the description, the category. Uh, the, what I want to show here is for the risk score is this one, is the percentage. You can actually, on a particular policy failing or passing, you can increase percentage-wise the risk of that vulnerability. So the vulnerability starts with the CVSS score and then goes up or down depending on what are the policies that fail. You can actually also, uh, as an additional action, when a policy fails, you can send an email, create a syslog, make any kind of uh, notification. go to the top level group and we can select uh, assess uh, devices firewall that allow ban, ban protocols uh, from the internet so this particular policy we know uh, I actually uh, notice that it's uh, the one that fire on one particular offense. Let me actually go to the offenses and show you that. If I go to offenses, we look at all the offenses, and this one, uh, 901, is actually an offense that it's created, but that actual policy that has actually uh, failed. So, if we see when we display the rule, we see that that's precisely uh, an example of generating an offense uh, as, a, as a consequence of a policy having failed. You can also look at uh, the offenses that are related to a particular device. So I'm gonna go back to the configuration monitor and I'm going to select here this particular uh, firewall. I'm going to open that up. And I actually click on this button in here. I, I can see what, how many offenses are related or are uh, involved this particular firewall. And this being an external firewall, <laughs> you see that there's a bunch of them that actually uh, uh, pass uh, through it.